Every year, thousands of controllers are affected by stick drift. It doesn't care whether you like Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, uh, is there another console? Just, just those. Stick drift will find you and it will infect your controller. So, is there a cure? Maybe. Kind of. Probably? Well, that's what we're going to be exploring in this video. Stick drift is inevitable. It happens when the potentiometer wears out from use. The average lifespan of the potentiometer is about 2 million cycles. iFixit estimated that that translates to about 400 hours of playing Warzone. The problem only gets worse and worse. There's very limited information on the internet about how to fix this, so I decided to be the whistleblower. Let's get into it. We have a PS5 controller. So this PS5 controller has stick drift and this fix is also universal so don't click away if you have Nintendo or an Xbox controller. This fix will still work with your controller. I realize I didn't explain what stick drift is but basically it just means that your analog stick is moving on its own without you touching it. It happens to almost every single controller out there. We already replaced the battery on this PS5 controller. He saw my video and he wants me to take a crack at the stick drift. So that's what we're gonna do. I've never done this before, but if this does work, I think this will help a ton of people. So to do this fix, we're gonna need this. These little boards can apparently cure stick drift. They were a total of $6 Canadian and I'll put a link to them in the comments and description. Before we get started with this repair, we have to make sure that this controller actually does in fact have stick drift. This is also a cool way you guys can make sure that your controllers are working properly. We're gonna need a computer for this and a USB-C cable. We'll plug the PS5 controller into the computer. So this website automatically detects your controller and it's used to test controllers. So we're gonna test out this controller and see if it actually does have stick drift. If it doesn't, this is a waste of a video. And it looks like it does. So our right analog is definitely drifting downward. It's always in a downward position, which means we have a video to make. But just, just check out how cool this website is. If you ever wanna test your controllers, I really recommend you use this. That means it's time to open this controller up and get it fixed. Any subscriptions later? Um, yeah, the, the controller's red now. Uh, what happened was I, I lost these and AliExpress takes like three months to send anything. So I had to wait three months. And since then I did a, I did a mod. It actually looks pretty cool. Anyway, nothing's changed. This still has stick drift. So let's open this up and let's see if these little things can actually save the day or the night. Whenever you prefer to play. First things first, let's remove this red casing here and you just pull up on it so these controllers have four screws that stop you from opening the controller there's one here one here and one under the l1 button and one under the r1 button to pop these buttons out you just stick something in there and you just pop them out like that there we go now we'll hit this phone with an unscrew And we can begin opening up the controller. So you just want to unclip these two clips down here and then everything comes off. Now we're going to disconnect the battery, remove that, and we're going to unscrew this one black screw so that we can reveal the analog or the back of the analog. Unscrew. Now we can remove this bracket, remove, and we have exposed the back analog, the solder balls. That's the best word I have for it. The idea is basically to solder on this board over the back of the solder balls and then adjust the analog as needed using a screwdriver. More on that in a bit. First, I gotta get this soldered on. We now have our soldering iron and some solder. Let's get this thing soldered on. So it's actually on the right analog here. So we don't even need to do the left at all. Unfortunately, there are these cables here that are soldered onto the board that are gonna make our lives a little bit harder and I wasn't expecting that, but we will work around it. And we're gonna solder on each of these joints. I'm still not that good at soldering, so hopefully I don't mess this up. That's one.
just gonna fix these ones down here because they look really ugly. Nice. So these work a lot like screws and apparently turning them can reset the baseline of where your controller analog lies. So if you turn one of them clockwise, the analog will turn farther right or farther left. One of them is for the horizontal axis and one of them is for the vertical axis. So we got to find out which is which. Now we'll test it out. Uh, okay. Doesn't look like it's drifting at all anymore. I don't know if that fixed it. We're gonna close it up and see if it still has this same response. And if it does, then I guess we fixed it. Confusing. The analog was still stick drifting at this point. For whatever reason, it wasn't when the device was open. What we're gonna do now is basically open it up and screw or unscrew those two screws until we get a good reading on the gamepad tester. So the screw on the right side is responsible for the horizontal axis and you can see when I unscrew it the analog goes up and when I screw it the analog goes down. So we have to try and get as close to that baseline as humanly possible so that we can cure this controller of stick drift forever. That looks about right. Let's close this up and see if this actually worked. Perfect. After the final test, the controller wasn't stick drifting at all. So we completely cured this controller of its disease. All that we really needed was this $6 board, basic soldering skills, a soldering iron, a screwdriver, and that's about it. This really wasn't that hard to do, aside from AliExpress taking 10 years. If the stick drift occurs again down the line, you can open up the controller and readjust it as needed. If you or any of your loved ones have stick drift, please send them this video. Let them know that there is a cure. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. This video took months unintentionally, so don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, hit that bell button. Next one is going to be absolutely insane, so you want to stay tuned for that. 3 million subscribers, I am so unbelievably grateful. I can't thank you guys enough, you've changed my entire life. <laughs> I'll see you guys later.